As a woman boarded the plane, she was met with a terrifying sight. The cabin capable of holding hundreds appeared completely empty. Just as she began to wonder if she had chartered the entire plane with her daughter, the noise of other passengers from behind reassured her. Outside the window, she noticed a vehicle carrying luggage and, shockingly, a coffin on top. However, Kyle and her daughter were not afraid, knowing that a loved one lay inside. Shortly after takeoff, Kyle noticed that the last few rows were empty and suggested they move there to sleep. Waking from her slumber, Kyle was horrified to find her daughter missing from the opposite seat. Initially, she didn't panic, thinking her daughter might have returned to their original seats but found them empty. Kyle's anxiety caught the attention of an air marshal nearby. After learning she was searching for her daughter, he reassured her that at 36,000 feet, even if her daughter had wings, it would be impossible possible for her to leave the aircraft. He suggested the girl might be in the restroom but after checking all on board Kyle found no trace of her. Growing increasingly worried, Kyle asked a flight attendant if she had seen a little girl. She was relieved to hear her daughter was in the dining area, but the child walking towards her was not her own. It became clear the attendant was merely placating her, which wasn't unusual given the number of passengers to remember. Kyle thought her daughter might have gone to play with other children. Frustrated, Kyle remembered warning her daughter not to wander off in crowded places. However, after searching the entire double-decker luxury plane, she realized her assumption was wrong. Her daughter was nowhere to be found, sending her heart into a frenzy. Thinking her daughter might have returned to their sleeping spot, Kyle hurried back only to find her daughter's beloved teddy bear. Realizing the gravity of the situation, her daughter never went anywhere without that teddy bear. Kyle feared her daughter had vanished into thin air. When she asked passengers in the front rows if they had seen a six-year-old girl, they surprisingly said no. Kyle's unusual behavior finally drew the attention of the flight attendants, who made an announcement over the PA system asking passengers to ring their service bell if they spotted the girl. After a long wait, there was no response from anyone on either deck. Kyle's request to search the entire plane was denied by the flight attendants. I just need, I just need the aisles clear so I can look okay. The attendants didn't take any action, and passengers in the front rows claimed they hadn't seen a little girl, some even saying they hadn't noticed her daughter since boarding. Kyle's attempt to enlist two children to help search was rebuffed by their father. At this moment, the attendant was called away. From the secretive whispers of those around her, Kyle sensed a strong unease and rushed to ask if there was any news of her daughter. Ma'am, we don't have any record of your daughter ever having been on board. The revelation struck like lightning on a clear day. Despite boarding the plane with her daughter, there was no record of her. Seeing Kyle's disbelief, she immediately pulled out their boarding passes, only to find she had tickets for herself alone. She suddenly remembered that before boarding, her daughter had asked her to hold on to the boarding pass, which she might have placed in her bag. However, when she checked the overhead compartment, her daughter's backpack had also mysteriously disappeared. It was impossible for a six-year-old to reach that high, leading Kyle to realize she might be entangled in a massive conspiracy. Ignoring everyone's attempts to stop her, she rushed to the cockpit, insisting on speaking with the pilot immediately. But before she could knock, she was pinned against the door by someone. Her actions had caused panic among the passengers, forcing the air marshal to restrain her. The captain, hearing the commotion, checked the passenger log and confirmed with the crew multiple times. When he asked the flight attendant who had checked them in, her once confident affirmation turned uncertain. I don't remember either ways. Indeed, the back seats had the teddy bear and a blanket left behind. The captain cautiously asked Kyle if she had been drinking or had taken any medication, wanting to ensure her mental state was stable. Kyle explained she had been taking antidepressants daily since her husband's fatal fall a week prior, and their journey was to transport his remains back to their hometown for burial. A flight attendant confirmed that a coffin had been delivered from the hospital, but no one had seen her daughter. The captain then turned to the air marshal who was seated not far from Kyle and her daughter, but he also hadn't seen the girl. Despite Kyle's evident distress and the crew's hesitation when answering, the captain decided to take action. They turned on the cabin lights, locked all restroom doors, and instructed passengers to stay in their seats unless necessary. They began a thorough search, inspecting every suitcase and cabinet where a child could potentially hide. A six-year-old girl uh, climbing into avionics. This is really silly. This is procedure. Captain. Kyle was grateful for their diligent search, but even after checking every corner, her daughter was nowhere to be found, nor were her backpack and boarding pass. Yet Kyle was convinced her daughter was on the plane, carefully checking each seat. When she passed a man with a large beard, she felt a sense of familiarity. Kyle approached the captain again, requesting to search the cargo hold, but he refused, citing the risk of injury if the plane encountered turbulence. He doubted a six-year-old could access the cargo hold on her own, and promised to continue the search in the cabin. Kyle suddenly remembered having seen the bearded man before. The night before, she had noticed two figures peering into her daughter's room from the window across. Now, she was convinced these two had kidnapped her daughter. The bearded man denied ever seeing Kyle, and presented a hotel bill as an alibi. Other passengers were skeptical, arguing that a bill proved nothing. Despite her suspicions, Kyle had no evidence to prove the man had kidnapped her daughter. Kyle's actions completely exhausted the air marshal's patience, who threatened to handcuff her if she continued, 
arguing that there was no reason for someone to wait until boarding the plane to abduct a girl not even listed as a passenger. Soon after, the announcement lifting the search signaled the end of the efforts to find her daughter. Infuriated, Kyle confronted the captain about stopping the search. It turned out the crew had contacted the hospital that delivered the coffin, which claimed her daughter had also fallen with her father. Kyle couldn't believe it, as she had stayed in the hotel with her daughter for a whole week after her husband's accident. The captain's words were a shock to Kyle, blurring the line between dream and reality for her. She ran towards her daughter's last known location, only to be tackled to the ground by the bearded man. When Kyle regained consciousness, she was back in her seat next to a woman who seemed to be a psychologist, arranged by the captain to calm her. Doubting her own perceptions, Kyle's suspicion was reignited upon seeing a heart drawn on the window by her daughter, indicating the people around her were lying. Using the excuse of needing the bathroom, Kyle had the air marshal unlock her handcuffs. Once inside, she quickly removed her jacket and broke into the ventilation shaft eventually reaching the main control circuits of the plane. Kyle tampered with the wiring, causing the oxygen mask to drop, creating panic among the passengers. She then caused a short circuit, plunging the plane into darkness. Taking advantage of the blackout, Kyle sneaked into the cargo elevator. The captain, realizing the power outage was sabotage, found the bathroom empty of Kyle. Kyle, now in the cargo hold, desperately called for her daughter while searching. Finding her husband's coffin, she feared her daughter might indeed be gone with him. Opening the coffin, she found only her husband's body, confirming her daughter was truly missing, not a figment of her imagination. As she prepared to continue her search, the air marshal handcuffed her again, announcing the plane would land at the nearest airport due to her actions. This was what Kyle wanted, as it would allow a thorough search of the plane, though she forgot to lock her husband's coffin again. Back in the cabin, Kyle found no sympathy from the other passengers who cheered for her capture. An air marshal was left to guard her, claiming to report to the captain, but instead he followed Kyle's tampered wiring to the cargo hold. He discovered the coffin wide open, revealing plastic explosives inside. He was the mastermind behind the plot, having hidden Kyle's daughter and rigged the plane with bombs. He then approached the captain, falsely accusing Kyle of being a terrorist and demanding a $50 million transfer to a specified account to prevent the plane's destruction. The captain realized it was all a plot orchestrated by the woman. He wanted to speak with Kyle but was stopped by the air marshal, who claimed that Kyle was not in a state to negotiate and had no intention of harming anyone, as evidenced by her allowing the plane to land. The air marshal suggested the airline should pay the ransom first and then capture Kyle and her accomplice. As the air marshal was about to return to the cabin, he was stopped by the flight attendant guarding Kyle. She confessed to Kyle that she had tampered with the registry records and provided the pre-prepared hospital certificate to the captain, as she was involved in those tasks. Fearing her involvement had been exposed she dared not return to Kyle's side. The air marshal reassured her that in 10 minutes the plane would land and the bomb would be detonated, destroying all evidence. After calming his accomplice the air marshal returned to Kyle, promising to stand by her until the end, and help search for her daughter after the plane was evacuated. Seeing the plane land successfully, Kyle finally let go of her worries. After all passengers disembarked the crew was the last to leave. Kyle rushed to the captain, insisting she would soon find her daughter and expect expected an apology for his negligence. Your money has been wired, just as you asked. Kyle, confused by the unfolding events watched as the air marshal, close to being exposed, excused himself to find the police and hurried towards the exit. Piecing together the captain's words and her suspicion of a mole among the crew, Kyle called out to the air marshal, forcing him to return to the plane. As the crew disembarked one by one, no one noticed one person was missing. As the air marshal was about to close the door, Kyle struck him with a fire extinguisher and found the detonator on him. While interrogating him about her daughter's whereabouts, the flight attendant appeared behind her with a stun gun prompting Kyle to flee. Kyle managed to hide in the cockpit before the air marshal could catch her. She then threw the flight recorder into the cargo hold to mislead the air marshal into thinking she had escaped. After ensuring he had left, Kyle cautiously exited the cockpit, only to be confronted by the flight attendant again. Kyle knocked the flight attendant to the ground with a punch. The air marshal, coming down from the ventilation shaft, fell due to his nervousness. Limping to the lower level, he found the plane door open and his accomplice running wildly in the snow. Kyle finally found her daughter in the cargo hold. As she prepared to leave with her, the air marshal descended. With his cover blown, he revealed that Kyle's husband was murdered, not a suicide, to smuggle explosives onto the plane by evading security checks. Using coffins which are not typically scanned was part of their plan. Targeting Kyle, an airplane design engineer, ensured no one knew the plane's structure better. They needed a scapegoat, hence the kidnapping of Kyle's daughter, to make everyone believe Kyle was the hijacker. Exploiting the air marshal's identity for his benefit, Kyle, seeing no way out, took her daughter and detonated the bomb in a safety chamber. Against all odds, Kyle and her daughter emerged unscathed, earning admiration from all. Kyle did not wait long for an apology, and the flight attendant could not escape. Holding her daughter, Kyle received admiring glances from everyone, proving her determination to save her daughter against all skepticism. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this.